Hey guys, welcome back. At the recent Cubing of the Cube 2024, Timon Kalashinsky got a 5.10 official 3x3 average with a 4.49 second best possible average. If he got that best possible average, that would rank him second in the world, just 0.01 second uh, behind Yehang Wang, who currently holds the world record average. And that's because he got a 3.92 Brilliant full step single in this average. So without further ado, let's break down this average together. The first solve is a 6.04, the worst solve of the average and just, I guess, a pretty normal solve by Team on standards. His cross pieces are here, 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 and here. And it's really easy to solve this red edge at the back relative to this blue one. And now for these two. These last two cross edges, we can just set them up by using U prime R, sorry U prime R prime, and noticing our first pair right here. Uh, after solving these, he can just do a D prime U at the same time to immediately set these two up and rotate and solve them in the front. Noticing our second pair, I think Timon planned all of this in inspection, of course, solving that into the back. And third pair and fourth pair, really easy to look ahead and all of course RU moves, making it really easy to execute as well. So OLL, PLL, this solve is pretty normal, just standard CFOP, nothing too crazy going on here. 6.04, standard solve, nothing to talk about really. But the second solve is one to amaze and astonish, the 3.92 full step single of this average brilliant solve by Timon. His cross pieces are on red, here, 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 and here. He is going to build an X cross and also set up his second pair to be a free pair during that cross. So uh, the pair he's going to utilize is this block and this edge. First of all, he can solve these two at the back with R prime, B prime, and then D aligning the bottom layer to solve these. And now we also see that this edge is attached now to its center. And so we have this block, this edge. We can just do R prime F to solve this block. And normally we would just do R prime. And uh, our second pair, by the way, would be these two, which is pretty bad. But what Timon does is inserting a U2 before solving uh, this cross piece so that after bringing down this edge, these will be a free pair. This is a very common technique in Timon's crosses, basically inserting one or two moves in the X cross or cross to make the next pair easier to solve. In this case, a free pair into the back, leaving room all at the front, very easy to look ahead. We have our third pair and our fourth pair, all very easy to look ahead into and canceling into this lefty fat soon and just an apron to finish. So yeah, basically full step, 3.92, 43 moves, simply elegant and efficient, 10.97 TPS. Congrats, Timon, on again getting a new sub-4 single. I think this is his uh, fourth or fifth official sub-4 single, which is absolutely crazy to think about. And the next solve is a 5.35. Cross pieces are on green, here, here and here and here at the front. And of course, there are many blocks on this solve, but we're just gonna focus on this block corresponding to this edge. And again, Timon is also going to manipulate his second pair to make it also into a free pair, which is gonna be these two, and see if you can spot how Timon is gonna set these two up. So first of all, we can solve this cross edge and this block together relative to the edge of the back like so. And now we have to insert its corresponding edge into its spot, taking out this FTOL edge and also maintaining the position of these two, like so. And now another classic typical Timon style uh, trick here, doing a wide U prime instead of doing a D and a rotation, uh, a, very, a very crucial technique that you guys can implement into your solves as well. And now here, instead of solving with an R, we have these two, and we can also again insert a U two move. Again, the same exact technique to form a free pair as our second pair. A, a very very handy technique for you to learn in Timon solves. And here, a very very creative end to the F two L here. Timon is the pseudo god, and the pseudo god is known for his brilliant pseudo sliding opportunities. 
Um, see here, Timon noticed that if we just solve these two like so, it would be a very long uh, solution. But we also notice this solved corner, and if we solve this edge, this is essentially a solved pseudo pair. And so we bring over the empty slots, and we just basically pair up our pair and sledgehammer into the uh, front because if we just insert normally, it will be dot case to sledge to avoid dot case, uh, restoring the F2L, a very, very creative and brilliant flourish to the end of the F2L. And just all out and a very, very unfortunate imperm case for the PLL taking away the sub 5 from uh, uh, Timon. Only a 5.35, but still a brilliant solve. And the next solve is also one to astound. This is a 4.21 second single. Absolutely crazy here. Again, Timon's going to do right cross. Cross pieces here, 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 and here. These two are already relatively solved. And normally we just solve these two like so very easily, but Timon also notices this attached edge to its center. And so after we bring down this edge, we can solve these two together. And its corresponding corner is right here. So basically Timon says, why not insert a U prime to form a block so that he can insert this block and this edge together like so. And now with an X cross solved, he solves the second pair taking out this free pair at the bottom. So I, I see a lot of people when they see this free pair, they just take it out and insert into the back. It's not good when you do that. It's much better if you solve something, replace it into the slot so that it takes it out for you. And then you solve this as a three mover into the back. Uh, a, a very clever trick from Timon here. And now Timon what does what is known as a ZBLS. So basically solving the last pair and the orienting the edges at the top so to give you a ZBLL and here Timon does you the f use the full ZB method so solving uh, ZBLS like so a very easy ZBLS for that matter and then does a U2 recognizes this pi ZBLL which is a Timon uh, signature ZBLS set a uh, quite easy alg as well for the Pi ZBLL and finishes off with a 4.21 time. Uh, Timon's on fire and he ends this average with a 5.74. Unfortunately, not getting the 4.49 BPA, but still a 5.1 official average is brilliant. And so is this last solve. Timon again does uh, uh, an X cross, this time on yellow. Cross pieces here, 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 and here. There seems to be no blocks on this scramble, but Timon can still utilize some specific pieces. For example, these two. So here for this X-Cross, we're separating these two pieces and treating them as two individual pieces, the edge and the corner. So first of all, we solve this orange cross edge. And then normally we just wrote, does a D prime and solve this green one. But here Timon notices that he can do a U prime to attach again to its center and solve these two together, this edge at the back and this corner here. And basically, he then solves this cross edge into here, and now he just has this corner to solve into the back. So bring over that slot into the back, like so. And he finishes his X cross. And here, uh, Timon does a E move, <laughs> which, is quite, which is quite hilarious, and uh, solves his second pair here like so and rotating for his third pair and finally fourth pair so the second third and fourth pairs are quite standard and just Ola and unfortunately a V perm so Timon is haunted by bad Dayak PLLs on his two five second solves but yeah still a 4.49 BPA a 3.92 full step official solve and a counting official 4.21. Brilliant solving by Timon. I hope that he can get even uh, more amazing averages, more sub five averages, even world record averages in the new year of 2024. Starting out the year strong, Timon, keep it up. Congrats on the new sub four single. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.